Hello friends, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to our channel. And yes, today onwards we are going to learn remaining component with some database where we are going to perform ETL process. Okay, so first database I selected as MySQL. This is the, you know, this is the, uh, I think the most of people use MySQL. Uh, okay, so it is the most convenient database to learn with. So let's get started. First of all, I'm assuming that you know how to install your MySQL workbench, okay? And uh, how to create your basic connection, uh, okay? So I, I'm hoping you are good till now. So let's get started with Talent. When you go to on Talent, you see th there's a metadata part in Talent in repository section. So if you are database or whatever you are using your database source, okay? If uh, that is your like, if you can find that in this, uh, you know, section, then just uh, click, suppose this is like was as your, then just right click on create this one. Okay. So it will create your connection under this. But if you're not, if you're not able to find any your, your database in out of these options, so you can just go to back, uh, go to back to this TV connection, just click right click and, and just click on the create connection and first name your connection. After naming your connection, just click next and you can see this is a DB type. So when you will click on this, it's a pick list value providing you all other database. Okay, so this is the best feature of talent that you can name any database and it is present in talent. So yeah, it's a happy thing. Now I'm going to select MySQL. I have selected MySQL and to connect with my MySQL database, whatever the essentials, you know, if, uh, credentials I need, it populate with the field okay so i need to provide login login means your username right so basically the default uh, your username and password you already know what mysql provide you so it's a root and your password and your server server basically one two seven zero zero one okay and this is database database here you need to select like whenever you perform any operation in your uh, mysql Okay, so you need to create your table in some respective database, right? Like uh, I created a, you know, sample database, which is talent tutorial. So I'm going to use this database for uh, example, okay, for showing you all other the operation, but you can use any other database for your talent operation. So, uh, you know, I'm assuming that you know how to create database. If you don't know, just note down, create uh, database and then your database name so it will just create your database now i'm going to use uh, provide this database name in my talent job okay so yeah okay sorry so let me check that now yeah now, uh, whenever uh, you provide basic credential for, uh, you know, for connecting your, to your database, you need to test connection also, then only you can move next, otherwise you cannot. So just click on the test connection. If your connection, your credentials are right, it will be show you successful. If not, if not, then please uh, look into your credentials where uh, you, you are doing something wrong and then again try, okay? Now my job is done. It's finishing, okay? Now I will, I will show you how to you know how to establish or how to call my this stored uh, my sql connection in our job so first point i'm going to tell you the point which is needed to be keep in mind while working the project for a connection because this is the most you know uh, one of the best practice so with every point uh, with every new component or new topic i'm going to tell you the best practice so that you can just jot down anywhere and uh, remember it you, it will help you out so uh, you know the advantage of storing your connection in metadata is that you can call that connection from anywhere anytime multi and any number of times right so this is my job and whenever you you work with a database please make sure that you always first use this component that is t and your vendor like your whatever database you are using and then your connection component because what happened first it, it is going to check your connection if it is successful, then only we can proceed further with our uh, remaining talent job. So it is a best practice, okay? And uh, we can close this connection also. We have components. Suppose I have chosen T MySQL. 
connection so you have this uh, you know connection you can use this one if you want oracle connection uh if you're using oracle then then just go back to oracle and this oracle uh you able to see okay Oracle, we don't have connection. From, yeah, it is here. So this is here. Similarly, if you 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 can check any database, they will provide you like connection component also. Like Salesforce also has a connection component. So it's a very uh, you know best practice to establish your connection in first uh, this component and then proceed with your input and output component of that particular databases. Now you can call your database in two two ways. After you know using this database. Okay, so it will just populate you that yeah, it is my MySQL. And now this property type, what is this property type? I am showing it uh, right now. It has only two options that is built-in repository. Whenever you click on the built-in, then you need to provide all your credentials manually here. Okay, suppose if I am using this, uh, you know, this uh, connection several times or different connection also, then you need to provide everywhere your password, your host, your everything manually. Okay, so I don't think this is a best practice. So what, uh, so what you can do, just create your, you know, database connection in metadata so that it is a one-time task. You uh, and then you can call anywhere, anytime, without any, without any error. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. Just ask. Okay, so. This is one of the best practices that whenever you work with a database, then first call your connection in this connection component and then proceed with your further implementation. So I hope this is very clear to you. And the second best practice is that whenever we, you know, we work with a, a talent job with some database, then we after completing your whole job, we have a component also called the to close the connection also. So is it this is a component where we close our connection. Okay, before terminating our job. So with T post, you know, job component, you can just use this. Uh, yeah, at the end of my everything flow of talent job, please close this database connection also. So yeah, this was the best practice regarding your, you know, connection of databases in talent jobs. I hope this is clear. If there is any doubt, please comment in, please comment. And uh, yeah, it. I hope it was easy to learn also. So we will working with a few more scenarios in MySQL database, how to extract, how to load, how to call your, uh, you know, your store procedure. So we are going to learn everything like basics of uh, uh, this MySQL database connection. So yeah, keep learning. Thank you for watching this video.